Metro-style public transport systems are the hallmark of great global cities. These large infrastructure projects are a part of everyday life. People understand that for some short-term disruption, the benefits will be delivered for 50 to 100 years. I spent seven years working on the Crossrail project, developing the concept design, developing the environmental assessments, making sure that the impacts were going to be manageable as that very large project was built in the centre of London. Most major cities in the world are facing significant growth. Part of the way we accommodate that growth is by building new transport systems, and in particular new metro systems in the hearts of our cities. Uh, and that's the way we allow our cities to grow. We provide this new transport capacity that allows continued growth. The big challenge is, is building within a, a busy environment. It's something which I've worked on before in other major cities overseas in Hong Kong and Singapore. I've worked in building stations in the middle of a jungle to the middle of a CBD outside of shopping centres and hotels. So each has got its own challenges. So the challenge is, I think, is communicating to the public what's happening and having good plans in place that minimise the impact to the people and the infrastructure and the traffic. And I think it's very important having that, that stakeholder engagement, public engagement, and that we've got our plans in place so that people are fully aware of what's going on. Since the middle of 2015, we've been listening to a lot of local stakeholders and key institutional stakeholders about the project, what their expectations and aspirations are. We've been already building a lot of that feedback into a lot of our design and development work. So we've been really upfront about what sort of disruption the project may cause while we're building it. We're very mindful that we want to try and keep the disruption uh, to a minimum. We want to try and build the project as quickly as we can so that people can actually enjoy the benefits of having a new metro style system in Melbourne. When you build infrastructure in a major city like this, it just brings vibrancy, it brings business, it, it, it improves people's lives. But again, other places in the world have been through this situation. Eventually you'll come out at the end of the day with a, a beautiful new uh, Melbourne metro tunnel. And I think we've got to not take our eye off the ball that's what we're aiming for.